What's up, ladies and gents? Mr. Harris here, back with another one. Appreciate you tuning in to my blog, my journey here. So it's a beautiful March Thursday, and I am in Jersey. I am at one of my favorite hotels, and I'll show you at the end of the video why this is one of my favorite hotels, because the view is immaculate, very beautiful scenery. And it's really great for me to just come out here and think and kind of plot. And for me personally, every three to four months, especially as the seasons are changing, I like to be, I like to just take a step back and kind of review what I've been doing over the last 90, 100 days or what have you, just to see where I've been and where I'm going and stuff like that. And, you know, as we all know, there's so much going on right now. I mean, with the banks, with the economy we understand that the economy is collapsing the uh, US dollar is collapsing we are headed towards the fourth industrial revolution where technology takes over and everything else and, and yeah that is that is coming um, it's here not it's coming it is here it's not in its full maturity but we know it's here and you know just so much going on and I wanted to kind of reassess for myself where where I wanted to be and, and where I wanted to go in terms of my life and you know what, what's the, what's the best moves to make in this new digital economy and you know just a couple of thoughts that come to mind of course I'm not going to speak everything but one one thought that definitely comes to mind is regarding real estate and you know there there is a, a billion dollar lawsuit against top real estate companies because of commissions and fees and I, I think the lawsuit is so fucking stupid to be honest because you know, it's homeowners complaining about paying a buyer's agent and, and all this shit. And it's like, in every situation, when you go to sell your home, you negotiate with the client. The, the, the agent negotiates with the homeowner and goes back and forth regarding what the commission is. And you got a bunch of fucking people who, I believe there's definitely something behind it, but it doesn't matter. Um, complaining about commissions that they negotiated with their client and you know they might win they might lose but I do know that eventually it will mean drastic changes to the industry doesn't mean agents are gonna go away I just think it's gonna mean that buyers agents are gonna get paid through the buyers and the buyers are not gonna have money in so that's probably gonna mean more business for listing agents because the buyers just gonna come straight to us and we'll double end and those who know how to get listing and find deals are, are going to be still making business where those who are relying upon buyers to uh, make deals happen probably going to be phased out a little bit. So listing skills are going to be even more important. Um, I bring that up because, again, the industry is changing. I have to be aware of that and make changes within myself at the same time. I knock on like 100 plus doors a day, 100 phone calls a day, getting rejected left and right. People who say, no, I don't wanna sell my home or what have you, and I don't wanna talk to an agent or a broker, which is fine, it's part of the game. Uh, but now for me, I'm like, if I'm gonna do all this work, I'm not working for nobody else, you know? Um, for the company I work for. When I introduce myself, I say my name, but then I also say the company's name. And of course, thoughts come to that company and who owns the company. For me, I just realized that, you know, being self-employed, you own your own job. But definitely when you're working under someone else, you definitely own, like you definitely basically still have a job. You know, um, I talked about how I closed Fenton Avenue and then I closed another house a week after. And um, I brought in a $22,000 check, which Previously, the, 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 the listing, the house, the business was underneath the company that I would get 100% of that, that money of, and it would be mine. Uh, but I had did some things switched and came to this company, and so they take 30% before taxes. And so that 22 came down to 15. And, you know, 7K is a lot. That, like, when you, <laughs> there's a $7,000 is a lot, okay? And continuing, I just kept thinking about, like, they didn't really help me close this deal. They, they didn't put in any work to help me close this deal. I had to negotiate back and forth with the clients, the owners, and, you know, and 
for me, I'm saying to myself, like, if I know real estate is going to change dramatically over the next couple months to couple years, at the very least, I want to have my own name, my own company. <clears throat> and whatever I get, I want to keep myself. I don't think it's not greed, it's business, you know? Uh, I just keep thinking about that $22,000. Like, I really earned $22,000, brought in a $22,000 check and got like 15 grand. 15 freaking grand. And so, I'm just thinking about how uh, I'm going to start my own, start my own company. Um, I'm thinking about how I want to get into financial services. I want to get into understanding the stock markets and the crypto markets and trends and all this other stuff. I want to learn the game of money, learn the game of business and marketing, communication and all these other things that contribute to the language that millionaires and billionaires speak. You know, um, these are the skills that, that these individuals focus on to increase their valuations and, and, and become assets in the companies they start and work for, you know, so I'm just kind of reflecting on exactly that stuff and how I want to go about making that happen. And uh, yeah, those are just some thoughts on my mind regarding everything. And, uh, you know, being out here just gives me a real good amount of time to think and process life for the thoughts. So let me show y'all why I love this place. This is the view from the balcony. So that side over there is Manhattan. As you can see the city down there. And up there is the Bronx. Actually you can see Tracy Towers all the way over there. Is that Tracy Towers? No. That's um What is that? Kings Harbor not Kings Harbor. Those towers right up there are the towers where <laughs> where there's only one way in and one way out. And it is mad hood over there. I mean it is it is not a good place to be over there at night. But anyway. Manhattan's this side, Bronx is up there. I love the view, very peaceful, very quiet. And uh, I'll be leaving in a little bit, getting right back to work. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see y'all later.